Ito muna, real talk. <laughs> Kayo na ba? Guapo o matalino? Matalino. Oh, naman one. Sayang. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe ka naman. Singing or hosting? Oh man, don't make me choose. Probably hosting. Probably hosting. Um, mahal na mahal ko yung trabaho ko at syempre grabe yung opportunities na binibigay sa akin. So I wouldn't uh, change it for the world. I think I can always go back to music naman in terms of making music, writing. Kahit hindi nyo ko pakantahin. Pero sana pakantahin nyo ako. Pagaling po na singer acting yan. Acting or hosting? Baka acting sa ngayon. Bakit? Well, I'm very invested na sa, 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 sa craft ko. Ang dami ko ng workshop na pinagdaanan. And I really learned to love it talaga. So whenever I act, I'm fulfilled. Ako. Showbiz career or studies? Ah, dapat hira. balance yun. Oh, so, dapat balance. You can't choose one over the other. Well, ideally, dapat tapos na yung studies mo bago ka mag-start ng showbiz. Or dapat priority mo pa rin talaga ang, uh, ang studies. Mm -hmm. Pero kung marami kang show kasi na, well, naka, naka, you have a lot of uh, responsibilities rin. Kailangan mo talagang i-balance lang. Idol lang kita dati. Huwag idol! Pinapanood ko lang siya sa TV nung bata pa ako. Oo oh, eh. <laughs> Baba, huwag ganun. Ay, wala. Kidding aside, ang feeling ko, para ako nanalo sa loto. Ano ba hindi, yun? Hindi ako, hindi ako, kasi ako nagbibiro. Hindi <laughs> na mo naman yung chance eh. Sige nga, sabihin mo, ulitin mo yung lahat ng ano, lahat ng... Sa bagay. Diba? Lahat ng... The, the, the things I had to get. already gave up on marriage. Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe when God blesses you that much, pag sobrang dami mo ng uh, opportunities na maging masaya on your own, bigla kang okay na ako, Lord. Okay na ako kahit hindi ako makakapag-asawa, makakapag-boyfriend, or kung ano man. Sobrang satisfied na ako sa buhay ko. Pero lagi nila sinasabi, di ba, kung kailan hindi mo hinahanap, dun dumadating. So... Totoo yun. Kahit hindi, kahit hindi sa mga relationship, mm -hmm. kahit sa mga friendship, yung mga unexpected and uh, remarkable things really happen when you don't expect it. Anong advice mo sa mga taong gustong mag-move on? Hihirap mag-move on? I think for me, the reason why I really got to move on and move forward was because I, I built this relationship with God and God was really gracious towards me the way that He blessed my life. He allowed me to experience a lot of pain and suffering but in all of that I became closer to Him. So I think that's such a blessing in disguise. Both of you are social media personalities. So anong advice ninyo sa mga millennials? Kailangan mag-ingat lang. Siyempre hindi lang porket artista or what. Lahat naman ng tao dapat should be held responsible for what they post. And, alam mo, sa totoo lang, dapat may ID na rin lahat ng mga social media accounts para, di ba, yung mga, ma, mga masasamang nasabi na ibang tao or yung mga maling bagay na pupunapupost, <clears throat> they should be held responsible for it also. I think in general, so when it comes to social media, the golden rule applies talaga. Parang, do unto others what you want to be done to you and don't do unto others what you don't want to be done unto you. Um, so if you don't want to see something like that on your feed or, for example, ako ang moral compass ko nung una talaga, kung hindi pwedeng makita ng 7-year-old niece ko or ng 76-year-old lola ko yung photo na yon, kung hindi ikakatuwa, hindi ko ipopost yon. So parang yun yung personal ko for me. But it really depends on some people. I think, um, in general, I, I hold social media kasi as something very important and I feel like lahat ng tao may influence eh. Kahit gano'n pa kadami yung followers mo, kahit 50 people lang yan or 50,000 people, may, influ may influence ka sa mga tao. So, I would highly encourage millennials or anybody with a social media account to really use it wisely, responsibly, and for the better of not just you as an individual but also the community that you belong in. How do you get rid of negativity? <coughs> Social media. Wala. Tinititigan ko lang yung pictures ni Wancha, tas okay na. 
same here. <laughs> Wala, hindi, hindi namin, hindi namin pinapansin. And syempre, we, we also look at the positive comments. Mm. Uh, yung mga negative lang naman, syempre, opinion nila yun eh. So, we yeah. don't really mind them. Yeah, and I think at the end of the day, you know, some of these people, yung haters, mga taong nasaktan lang din yan, di ba? Mga taong kulang din sa pagmamahal. So, para sa akin, kung papatulan mo pa sila, what makes you any different from them? So, with haters, I think you should show grace and kindness. And sometimes that's, you know, blocking that person or completely ignoring them lang. Yun ang think before we click namin. And kailangan kasi yun eh, parang when you really look at it, lahat ng actions na ginagawa natin, may ripple effect yan, di ba? Isipin mo, isang comment lang, na, isang mean comment lang yan, or isang mean tweet lang yan, or isang mean post lang yan, but when you really think about it, may ripple effect lahat ng bagay na ginagawa natin. So, kung hindi ka magiging responsable, magiging cause ka ng so much hatred and pain in the world, and we don't need that anymore. Dapat positive lang, dapat mm-hmm. happy lang talaga tayo pala. Pero effective ba yung social media detox? <coughs> Oh, 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 sobra. influencers kayo eh. Oo Ay, naman. Well, well, well siyempre hindi naman kami required araw-araw mag, mag, mag-update sa social media namin. So we would have times. I actually got it from you. Na dinidelete namin yung mga apps namin para hindi kami matempt to uh, to scroll sa, mga, mm-hmm. sa, sa social, social media feed namin. So, mas marami kami na-achieve in life. Mas marami kaming uh, oras sa ibang bagay, sa mga importanteng bagay. Kaya nag, 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 nag-a-add up yun eh. Nag-a-add up lahat ng mga nagagawa namin at marami kami na-accomplish sa isang... Anong advice niyo sa mga malalamig naman yung Valentine's? Okay lang yan. <coughs> Enjoy nyo yan. I think, um, medyo... As much as we enjoy yung pagpaplano para sa Valentine's, minsan parang sobrang hype din talaga na isang araw para sa araw ng mga puso. But every day should be a day for you to celebrate love. And that doesn't necessarily mean na special someone. Pwede yan yung mga magulang mo, mommy mo, diba? Kapatid daddy mo, mo, sisters, brother and sister, yeah. best friend mo. Mm-mm. Pero saludo ako sa mga single ngayon dahil uh, makakatipid yun. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, mga katipid. Ito muna, real talk. <coughs> Kayo na ba? Hindi pa. <laughs> Hindi pa. Pero Hindi pa ako pinapalad ng uh, matamis na oo niya. Two months pa lang naman, guys. Grabe naman. Napipressure nga ako eh. Kasi ang dami nagsasabi na, sagutin mo na. May okay hashtag na. kasi ako. <laughs> hashtag sagutin mo na ako. Pero two Kaya months pa lang naman, ko. guys. So relax lang tayo. Madami pang oras. As close as we are. Maraming pang oras to build the relationship. And any good thing, any important thing, requires a lot of time. Diba? So, Kailangan na magandang foundation. Doon oh. rin ako nakafocus eh. Mm-mm. Ang message namin this Valentine's season, maniwala lang kayo sa pag-ibig. Feb-ibig na mga kapuso. Feb-ibig na. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> Hi mga kapuso, abangan niyo po ang aking one-on-one hashtag, tama ba itong hashtag ko? Hashtag Real Talk sa GMA Public Affairs. Ganito pa, ganito. <laughs>